Alright, so don't worry about the next. This is your boy Chris with the next. And I've been gone for a minute. Now I'm back in a jump off. Alright, so I was watching Hollywood Unlocked yesterday. And Jason Lee was spilling his tea about the Cardi B versus Nicki Minaj altercation. Because it really wasn't no fight. But, you know, Cardi B is a real one. And she gonna, when I see, when I see, on site means on site. Now, I do agree that was not the place and time for that. But a lot of people in the industry keep saying the same thing about Nikki. What's done in the dark is going to come to light. And I do feel like Nikki is being petty. She uh, wants to be the only one. I guess she thought she was going to be the last one. And um, no, we give her props for putting female rap back on the map. But as female ra rappers, they don't really get the recognition. You got to stick together because when they come out with these billboard charts or um, the greatest hundred rappers or the 50 greatest rappers of all time, whether it be a white or black publication, sometimes, majority of times, they either exclude females out or they only put two or three throughout the whole list. And you mean to tell me you can't put no Roxanne Shante who was basically whipped Nas into shape. You can't put her on that list. You know, you can't put the Kims and all of them on the list, the revolutionary people. And so this is why it's important to um, stick together in the rap, the female rap community. But, you know, Nikki is just petty. She wants to be the only one. And now, you know, she's pretty much cooling off. Um, My whole take on it, yeah, I'm not biased, you know. Cardi is not perfect, but, you know, she admits her wrongdoings. Nikki tries to, like, pretend to be fake and, you know, just doing what she always does. You know, she does deserve her fame. She does deserve all her accolades. But if you become too braggy or too, you know, you know mischief, then God could take that away as well. You know, a lot of people want to talk about Beyonce. But Beyonce is actually humble. You know, she brags here and there, but everybody does. That's natural. But if that's all you can do, then no, that's not cool. Um, yeah. So, uh, Jason Lee was just spilling the tea, saying that <laughs> that he had saw um he was sitting two rows down from Nikki. <laughs> that she just looked at him like, damn, he here. Like he can he can get on this level. He was in front row of the Milan Fashion Week. Which is cool. Ups to him. Big props to him. But, you know, at this point, I just feel like Nikki should just, um, like they say in a church, rebuke. You know, just come clean, just rebuke. You know, and it's not really a Nikki hate train. It's more like the karma train. You know, you diss Kim, you try to make her seem like she was dead. Then you try to stop other people's bags. Now you end on Cardi because she a the next female rapper out that's actually being successful. And, um, you know, that's just my take on it. I don't hate her at all. I just think, I mean, you can call somebody out. Just like a friend. If your friend being stupid, you got to whip them up and shave. Hey, that's what you're doing. A true friend will not just sit there and let you be stupid or let you beef. And, you know, you know, if you want, like Jason Lee was saying, if you want, if you want to be successful, you got to have to, you know, get up, whip yourself into shape, and do what you got to do. And this is going, that's just in general, it's for everybody who wants, you know, a career in whatever you want to do. You know, sometimes working these nine to five jobs, you can make them out of a career, not your career. And you just got to push yourself and keep working and keep working. And then, you know, it'll happen. Like Cardi B was not overnight. You know, Kevin Hart wasn't overnight. You know, he was 18 years in the game before he got his recognition. So that means during the 90s when Sinbad and Martin Lawrence and all of them was out, that means he was just, you know, he he, had, he was hustling. And now look where he's at. Same thing with Cardi. When Nikki was out, she probably was hustling, hustling. Now she, look where she at. You know, so my advice to Cardi, you know, just stay on top. You know, X off the haters. Because when you're doing good, 
a lot of people don't want to see you do good. When you appear hoping, wishing, and praying, but they cool with that. Once they start seeing the dream in effect, now they're giving you the side eye. Our advice for Nikki, stop being petty. And I don't want to hear you in your songs saying you're going to run up or cut some bitch or do any of that. Because you staying right there. Anyways, comments, questions, concerns, leave me in the comment section below. Till then, this has been your boy Chris with an X. Peace.